good stuff right here. Hey, so hey. You ain't know this was in the Bible, did you? You ain't never heard this. This is the salvation of the Lord being awakened to your ears. Don't take this lightly. There's work for you to be doing. You right. understand that? Read. And they shall rule over the oppressors. We shall rule yeah. over our oppressors. That's, That's right. right. So yeah. for all those hundreds, thousands of years where we were beaten, mocked, ridiculed, oppressed, Destroyed as a people, our household structure destroyed, our children's mind destroyed. Now in the present, and they're trying to set up propaganda for the future. God says there's going to be retribution for that in our obedience. Being oppressed together, a lot of our people. Especially you're you you right. You're right. A lot of our women have begun to hate themselves. Hate the way they look. This is the most disturbing thing that I've seen as an observation. Our black women are saying, well, when I'm with a black man, he only likes me when I wear a fake hair, fake eyelashes, this, that, and third. But then that same black woman will go out to marry a white man and she will wear natural hair. She will be in a modest Wake dress. Up. So she will only be godly. She's with the enemy. That's right. That's, That's a curse. curse. That is a curse upon our people. Read that in Deuteronomy 28 30. I want you to see the curse that has led to what we see now in the observations of society. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 30. Thou shalt betroth thy wife. So, betrothing a wife is an honorable thing. That means that a man went to a father and said, You know what? I'm interested in your daughter. I would like to make your daughter my wife. A man has betrothed a wife, and then what? And another man shall lie with her. Another man shall lie with her. Did that not happen in slavery? You seen 12 Years of Slave, the Nat Turner movie that recently came out, where a man had married a woman, done it honorably, and yet our oppressor came and took that woman out of the household and had his way with her. And she, she wanted to know, well, why didn't you come save her? Both of us are in captivity, but you know how that looks nowadays? Where a black man will marry a black woman, and then that black woman will go sleep with every Tom, Dick, and Harry in the neighborhood. She will put her body on only pants. She will exploit the very honor that was bestowed upon her from that godly man, or that man who at least took godly action with her. We got to wake up our people. We got to come out of that force. You understand that? So that's why when it comes to you taking the Get Isaiah. In 14, 13, in the last days, you're going to have to be with your people. Yeah. That, 13, 13, 14. 13. Let's get that. I'll show you. Because that's why I asked you the question. You think the white man is going to take you in the bunk with him because you're American? He's setting up protection for you. And God already clarified that. That's why they're going to have certain limitations. And they might actually use you for a bit of food this. And your food is read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13. In verse 14, Go ahead. and it shall be as the chase roll. A chase roll is a chase deer. Why would a, a deer be running? Because somebody's hunting it. We don't. And as a sheep that no man taketh up. And as a sheep that no man taketh up. That sheep that no man taketh up is still vulnerable to the wolves that are around. We don't. They shall every man turn to his own people. To his what? His own people. His what? His own people. So if our people don't want to realize that they're Israelite. Who are they going to turn to in the day of destruction? Who are they going to turn to? Oh, am I going to go to Billy? Billy, Billy will take me in. We used to smoke weed together back in the day. Billy will take me in. Bill will take me in. Kristen will take me in. Kirsten. No. They're going to turn to their own people and they're going to say, we don't know you. They might even kill you for even causing that threshold to even try their loyalty with their own people. Understand, the Bible deals with us having loyalty to God and our people. That's right. That's what the Bible is talking about. John 3, 16, when it's talking about a world, it's talking about the nation of Israel. It ain't talking about everybody. It ain't. Because if it did mean that all this time, where was the John 3, 16 that we were putting slaves? Where was it? Where was it when they were raping our mothers, our sisters, our cousins? Where was 
the Job 316 then. So it didn't mean it then, but it means that now, somebody lying to us as God's people. Somebody is lying to us. Oh, uh, what you got? Deuteronomy, let's go back. Deuteronomy 2815. This is the last one, right here. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, and thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So, sis, Rufus, why do you say that you're not a Jew? Why, what made you say that you got a Jew? I said I'm not. Was it born So let me show you who is Judah in the Bible. Let me show you what happened to the tribe of Judah. We just, you were just now talking about it. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15 again. Watch this. But it shall come to pass, and thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Right now in this verse. Go to Deuteronomy 101. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. Like your brother said, it should be foolish for our people not to claim their actual heritage, not to claim who they actually are according to the Bible. Matter of fact, if in that day, the prophecy we just read, everybody's going to turn to their own people in that day, right? If you turn to the white people, they're going to disregard you. And heck, if you turn to people calling themselves black, they're going to rob and steal from you. Right? Oh, but read this. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So what we're about to read is what Moses told the Israelites. Who the Israelites? God's chosen people. Right? Now go back to 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. And thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now, this is a prophecy. We're about to read prophecies. What is a prophecy? Something that was foretold. It's going to happen in the future, right? So listen good to what Moses told the Israelites, right? For example, the tribe of Judah, that's an Israelite, right? An Israelite tribe. Let's see what's going to happen to these people. Read on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Moses told them, if you do not listen to God's voice, which is the Holy Bible, go ahead, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So Moses told the Israelites, if y'all do not keep God's laws, statutes, and commandments this day, this is when they came out of Egypt from slavery, and they're in the wilderness now. You understand? Go ahead. That all these curses, all these what? Curses, what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God said, Moses told them, if you do not do God's commandments, curses are going to come upon you. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? Do you see all these atrocities that happen to us? You see all these atrocities that happen to us, right? Would you call this a curse? A curse thing, a bad thing that happened to the black people, right? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Now watch this. I'm going to show you that it's a curse and it's in the Bible. Right? Now jump to verse uh that was on that verse. Now jump to verse 68. Watch this. Watch this, sis. We were showing that we are actually not black or African American, Hispanic, Native American, according to God. Which we never learn in church, the school system, because it's ordained not to teach us this information. Hold on, sis. Read this. Verse 68. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Bring it out. We shall no longer be going around calling ourselves black or African American. This is why. Read this. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God told the Israelites. You're going to go back into Egypt again. Egypt, the Israelites was in slavery in Egypt. God says you're going to go back into Egypt. What does that mean? Exodus 20 and 2. Let's see what Moses is telling the Israelites. Let's get an understanding of who we are according to the Bible. 
right? I'm pulling for you. Let me ask you a quick question, right? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm talking to you over there. What is your nationality or your race? What is your race? Let me ask you that. What is your race? Are you just listening right now? Okay, I'm gonna follow. Follow, right? You brothers, you family, right? So, what is your race? What is your race? Is it Caucasian, Hispanic, Black? Which one is it? What's the race? Black American. What's your race? So you have a race? Every man have a race now. Okay. All right. All right. I'm listening. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Now watch this. Go back to Deuteronomy one and one. I'm gonna catch y'all up, right? So what we're going over is who we actually are. That, that we are not black. black. We're, we're not Native, Native American, American Hispanic. We are actually the biblical Israelites. We're the real Jews according to the Bible, right? right bro. Now, don't believe our word. Believe the Bible. Let's actually prove that, right? This is what we haven't learned in church, in the schools. It's not, it's not supposed to be taught to us, right? But now God is revealing that in the earth, who we really are. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. All white people. All Israel. All Chinese people. All Israel. These are the words Moses told the Israelites, right? When you see this sign right here in the Holy Bible, Judah all the way down in the body, those are the 12 tribes of Israel, right? Now, let's see what he told these people, right? Wait, verse uh, 15, 28 and 15. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses told the Israelites, right? Because he's speaking to them. He said, look, it's going to come to pass. What does that mean? Something's going to happen in the future, right? So it's going to come to pass if you don't do what? To observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So this is when they came out of Egypt and they're in the wilderness now, right? So Moses said, look, it's going to happen if y'all do not listen to God's voice, which is the Bible. Now, did they listen to God's voice in the wilderness? Over, or if y'all know, they went and worshiped the golden cow. Y'all remember that history? Right? And they was murmuring against Moses, right? And God. So they didn't keep the commandments. That's just two things. Right? Read on. That all these curses, all these what? Curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now, because they did not keep God's commandments, what, what did the Bible say is going to happen to them? What's going to come upon them? Curses, right? Watch this. Now, now let's read some curses that's, that's going to happen to them. Bring Go to verse 48. Watch this. Verse 48. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies. So God told the Israelites, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Right? Now let's put our history and try to align it with the Bible. Right? Did we have to serve at any point of our history, I asked all three of y'all, do we have to serve somebody at any time in our history? Yes, 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 right? Who are those people that we have to serve? And it's important what I'm asking them. Bring it up. What race of people? White people, right? So we have to serve another race of people in slavery. We gotta get from the top. Therefore, shall thou serve the enemies which the Lord shall sin against thee. So we're gonna have to serve with other people which the Lord sin against us. Right. A lot of us are asked, why this happen to us? Why are we the ones that go into slavery? Why are we the poorest people on the earth? Why? Because God sent these white people to come against us and put us in slavery. Why? And I'm showing y'all because we're the Israelites, we broke God's commandments. That's why because God sent the so-called Caucasian race against us and put us in slavery. We're going to read some more, but in hunger. So we have to serve this race of people for food, right? We was on the slave plantation. In order to get something to eat, you have to work with cotton fields all day long, right? Okay. And in thirst, 
find something to drink. In order to get a break, we work up from as soon as the sun came up, hey, get in that cotton field. Right? Or you walk down the road to the cotton field. Work all day when it got dark. Then you had time off. And now you go back to the slave shack and you can fix yourself a drink. Right? Go ahead. And in nakedness and clothing. If y'all didn't know, we are the Israelites and God gave us a certain dress code. We didn't have us dressed in rags and, and, and cloths and stuff like that. But when they took us from the west coast of Africa, right? Because we're originally from Jerusalem. But when they took us from the west coast of Africa, they stripped us butt naked, put us on those slave ships, shipped us over here, and what kind of clothes they gave us? You can see it in the slave movies. Little rags, right? That's what they gave us. Go ahead. And in the water of all things, anything you want, we had to go to the so-called white man to get it. Right. Even today, if you want to drive the car, who you got to go to to get permission to drive the car? The white man, right? Yeah, okay. And don't get some of the DMV. The oh, white man owns that, right? Hold on, y'all. I'm showing y'all we're the Israelites. Hold on, real fast. You know? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hold on, hold on. Read that again. Read that again. What does the Holy Bible say? Hold on, get that for me. Get that for me. Watch this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, appreciate it. All right? Read that again for me. Read that again. Read that again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Hold on. The same people that we're going to have to serve. God said in the Holy Bible, he's going to put a yoke of iron on your neck. What race of people did that happen to? Black people, right? Oh, you stay for a second, huh? That happened to black people. Right. Now let's use white people, for example. And for some, because there's a race of people that call themselves Jews, right? Which is who the Jewish people, right? But according to the Bible, Israelites, the Jews, they had yokes of iron on their neck. When in history did you see Jewish people have yokes of iron on their neck serving another race of people? Never in history, right? So if God said it's going to happen to the Jews, that never happened to Jewish people, and not only happened to black people, then who's it telling you who the real Jews are? Bring it out. We are the real Jews according to the Bible. You see that plain and simple. We don't. Until he had destroyed thee. This is a prophecy. In 18, I forgot when it was, but in the 1800s, right? Oh, uh, what is his name? Abraham Lincoln had the Emancipation Proclamation, right? Where he so-called freed the slaves, right? But when we was so-called freed, which was, he didn't want to do it at all, really. But when we were so called free, what did we do? We went, the only thing we knew was slavery, picking cotton. So we went right back to the same thing. And then after that, they had Jim Crow laws. You understand what I'm saying? Right? So read that part apart again. And you should put a yoke of iron upon thy necks until it destroyed thee. So these yokes of iron were on our necks until we were destroyed. So that until is heavy. That means it was a certain point those chains was on our neck until we was destroyed. Right. Once we was destroyed, now they took those chains off our neck. You understand what I'm saying? Right? Read that part apart again. He shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now we're so destroyed, we don't know our nationality. We don't believe that we are the Israelites according to the Bible no more. So now we walk around, we call ourselves black, African-American, I'm mixed, I'm my dad's uh, Italian, Native American, all like that, right? We're confused now, right? Go to verse 68. So if God said that's gonna happen to the Israelites, that only happened to us that proved we are these people, right? Yeah. Read on, let's get some more. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Uh -huh. and, it, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God told the Israelites, remember, Moses is still speaking to the Israelites, right? He said, you're going to go back into Egypt. Now they just left Egypt and God just killed the Egyptians, right? And swallowed them up in the Red Sea. 
So what does it mean But God is going to bring them back Where into Egypt up? again? What do you think that means? He's going to take them back to slavery. He's going to take them back to slavery, right? So let me ask you this. Do you know that you're an Israelite already? Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So let me ask you this then. Uh, what else are you doing with that information? Now you know you're Israelites. Now that you know that you're Israelite, what else are you doing with that? So we, we don't got to go through that basic of, hey, we're Israelites. That's how we prove it. Now we got to go into something different now, right? So what do you think you should do with that information? But what are you doing now? Let me ask that. Me now, I just... I believe and I listen, but I feel like there's not really much I can do. So you feel like there's nothing much you can do? Okay, go to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Let me show you what you supposed to do, right? What's going on with your breath? Do not? Yes, sir. Good, 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 good. So just to catch you up, what we're going over is who we actually are according to the Bible, right? Because in this earth, ever since we got off of slavery on the slave ship, We've been beaten, raped, robbed. Our history has been stolen from us. Right. And we've been given a history that the so-called white man will give us. You understand? Yeah. Right, watch this. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. So we're going we're gonna to circle back around for you. But as, do you believe in the Bible? Let me ask that. You don't believe in the Bible? OK, we'll come back to you, all right? Let me ask you, why do you don't believe? Talk to me, talk to me. We brothers, we the same people. Talk to me, let me talk. No? Okay, alright. So, what what do you believe in? Like, just, you believe in as a higher power or. Okay, so, where do you get your belief in that higher power? Do I get a belief in it? Yeah. Okay, you just know that there's a higher power out there governing everything, right? Okay, we can work with that. We can work with that. Let's go back to Deuteronomy real fast, right? Bring it up. I'm going to show you, like I said, in slavery, they, well, let me ask this again. Do you believe that slavery happened to our people? The slave ships, chains on the neck, sir, working in the cotton fields. Do you believe that happened to our people? You believe that, right? You believe in history, correct? Right. So, for example, we could say, do you believe the white man took a spaceship and went to the moon? You don't believe that? But that happened, though. That happened. Where? That happened. When, when was that? Uh, 1969. 1969, right? <coughs> Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Anytime we believe in something, there's an end goal, there's an end objective. So let me show you what the white man has never showed you out of the Bible. Because the white man don't really, his, when he gets an understanding of the Bible, he's trying to watch how much time before he gets destroyed. So watch this, where is the white man's destruction in the Bible? Because that is our hope, that's what our faith is in. We've been destroyed as a people. So what does the Bible say to the oppressed people? Get Luke 1 verse 68. I'm going to show you. Because the justice that we're looking for as black men is in the Bible. Understand that. There is retribution. There is a recompense for all the hatred that we've received as a people. Understand that. And that's what the Bible talks about with salvation. Read. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Well, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So 
That's why we teach our people their nationality. You are Israelites. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. There are no other gods for any other nation. We're the only people who have a God. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He's going to redeem his people, not everybody. That cuts out John 3.16 and what they taught us in white man church. Read on. Read on. And hath raised up an horn of salvation. So God has raised up a savior for us. That's to redeem us. Read on. For us in the house of his servant David. Read on. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. Go ahead. Which have been since the world began. So all the holy prophets that are written of in the Bible are our forefathers. That's right. This history is about us. Read right. on. That we should be saved from our enemies. From, who? from our enemies. So the Bible talks about us being saved from our enemies. Talk about being saved in church. What are they saved from when they still strung out on drugs? When the Let pastor's still sleeping with the women in the church? Where you got baby mamas, baby daddies all in the church? What are they saved from? The Bible talks about salvation being us saved from our enemies. Read on. And from the hand of all that hate us. That's salvation in the Bible. Now, what else does salvation look like? Get Isaiah 14. Is the Bible going to contradict itself? Is it going to say something different than the so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans? When they receive salvation, they're going to be rescued from the hands of the people that hate them? Watch how that rescue looks. Read on. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Go ahead. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So our salvation is us receiving the Lord's mercy. But we got to be in obedience to receive that salvation. Read on. And will yet choose Israel. He's going to choose us even though we've been in the midst of sin. We've been in the midst of sin as a people, but at the end of the day, he's still going to choose his people, right? Because his tender love and mercy is towards us, nobody else. Read on. And will and, and set them in their own land. Uh-oh. Do we own a lot of land here in America? They colonized us off of the land that we were already on. They stole us from the land that we made home. But God says in that day, He's going to set us in our own land that nobody else can deal with. It's going to belong to us and us only. Damn, that sounds good to me. Read on. And the strangers. Uh-oh. And the other people. Read on. Shall be joined with them. But how are they going to join us? Read on. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave to us. Why? You know, when, it, when they cleave to somebody, you're you trying to hold on. Why will the other nations be trying to hold on to us in that day? We're going to be exalted above them. They're going to want the blessings that we're going to be receiving in the kingdom. That's what the Bible is talking about. But well, watch what your position is going to be in the kingdom. Read on. And the people shall take them and bring oh, them. And the people of God shall take them, the strangers, read, and bring them to their place. They're going to be brought to the place with us. But what is going to be their job? Read on. And the house of Israel. And the house of Israel, which are you brothers. You are men of the nation of Israel. What is the Bible talking about? The salvation you should be seeking. Read on. Shall possess them. Uh-oh, we're going to be owners of people in the kingdom. What did these people do to us for us to be the owners? Read on. Read on. Them in the land of the Lord. So in the land of the Lord, we will be rulers. We'll be owners of, uh, of possessions. Read on. For servants. So those other people will be our servants. Read on. And handmaids. And handmaids. They're going to wait on us. They're going to wait on us. So, read on. Read the last one. This is the hymn. Oh. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. And they shall take them captives. We will take them as slaves whose captives they were. Damn, that sounds good. We didn't yeah, know that was in the Bible, did we? We didn't know that was in the Bible. As black men, we didn't know that was in the Bible as what salvation really is. When the Lord comes and rescues us from the hands of the enemies and all those that hate us, he's going to make us their rulers. But what is he requiring of us? Obedience. That's he right. requires of us to know who we are so that we can be obedient in the order that he gives us. Right. Last one, Revelation. Matter of fact, you bring that out. Revelation 13 and 9. There's some more left on that. Read that. Finish that off. This is some good stuff right here. And so they, you ain't know this was in the Bible, did you? You ain't never heard this. This is the salvation of the Lord being awakened to your ears. Don't take this lightly. 
there's work for you to be doing. You understand that? Read. And they shall rule over the oppressors. We shall rule over our oppressors. That's right. So for all those hundreds, thousands of years where we were beaten, mocked, ridiculed, oppressed, destroyed as a people, our household structure destroyed, our children's mind destroyed, now in the present, and they're trying to set up propaganda for the future. God says there's going to be retribution for that in our obedience. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.